Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, June 1, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 31, 2023, our system has ranked Intel as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.33. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Unfortunately, the stock hasn't performed as expected, with a loss of minus 0.99% so far. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.49% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 6.53% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 5.78% and 17.86%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 20.09% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 42.16% and minus 8.51%. This translates to a price range of $18.01 to $28.48 after a year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Red Day on Thursday for Intel Stock After Losing 0.99% The Intel stock price fell by minus 0.99% on the last day, Thursday, June 1, 2023, from $31.44 to $31.13. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.77% from a day low at $31.08 to a day high of $31.94. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 7.83% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 82 million shares and in total, 52 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.60 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $44.72, and the lowest price was $24.59. Currently, the price is 30.38%, or $13.59, below the 52-week high, and 55.07%, or $38.16, below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Wednesday, November 16, 2022, Credit Suisse set a price target of 28. On Friday, November 11, 2022, JP Morgan set a price target of 32. On Friday, November 11, 2022, JP Morgan set a price target of 32. Analysts have given Intel stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. The Intel stock holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $29.64 and $30.16. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, May 25, 2023, and so far it has risen 13.61%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, 
there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 5 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 5 days ago. Short term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. Long term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 26 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The long term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 5 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $31.06 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved 86 cents between high and low, or 2.77%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.56%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P.E. ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 26, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.0400. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $31.44. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $31.06. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider buy of 35,135 shares of common stock. On May 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider sell of 17,420 shares of common stock. On May 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider sell of 35,135 shares of restricted stock units. On May 11, 2023, Lavizo Muri Risa J conducted an insider buy of 4,828 shares of common stock. On May 11, 2023, Lavizo Muri Risa J conducted an insider buy of 7,152 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 4.516. Overall, Insiders purchased 416,973 shares and sold 386,229 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $29.95, minus 3.78%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 4 days ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, 
are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Intel stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, June 2nd, we expect Intel to open up $0.253 and start trading at $31.38. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.